Okay, now, I'm not going to put this on the final. I will be grading the assignment, and if it's not quality work, I guess it's not going to get a real good grade, but this is really pretty easy, okay? Um, find an exponent. So you're trying to find, how do you say that? You say it 3 to the second power, okay? It's called a power. This is my base. This is my exponent, okay? So 3 is the base, and 2 is the exponent. All you're going to do is write your base, 3, and you're going to write it down twice because your exponent's 2, and then you multiply them. Okay, well, 3 times 3 is 9. Okay, 5 to the third power. So again, 5 is my base, and 3 is my exponent. Again, I write 5 down, but I'm going to write 3 of them but I'm going to multiply the fives together. That's what an exponent is. It represents repeated multiplication of the same number. So five times five times five is 125. <laughs> six to the fourth power, again, six is my base and four is my exponent. So the base is a number that's repeatedly multiplied. There needs to be four of them because the exponent is 4. 6 times 6 times 6 times 6. 1,296. Okay, 5 to the second power. Base and 2 is the exponent. Okay, so base 5. There's going to be 2 of those, and 5 times 5 equals 25. Okay, 10 to the third power. So 10 is the base, and 3 is my exponent. So there's going to be 10, but there's going to be 3 of them. 10 times 10 times 10 equals 1,000. 2 to the 4th, 2 is the base, 4 is the exponent. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, and that equals 16. 9 to the 3rd, 9 is the base. 3 is the exponent, so 9 times 9 times 9. That is 729. I'll show you why. There you go. And 8 to the second. Again, 8 is the base. 2 is the exponent. So two, eight time, two eights multiplied together, and that equals 64. Okay, pause the video. Do the back side real quick. should be pretty easy. It's a cinch. Then unpause the video, come back. Okay, now here's what you're doing in the second um, packet. I just kind of out of order. Um, I'm going to be on this page right here. So x to the second times x, and that's a 3 right there. Okay, the copy machine cut it off. It's x to the second times x to the third. Okay, now your job is you can't really solve for x. So you're not finding what x equals. What you need to do is put that in simpler form. So your, your directions is to simplify it. Okay, put it in simpler form. Now, the problem is you're not going to be able to do it, write out the factor and find it on your calculator because the base is x and the exponent's 2, and here the base is x, the exponent's 3. Well, what do I do if the base is a variable? What do I do if the base is a letter? Well, let me show you a little something here. x to the second means you have two factors of x times together. And then you have this times dot here. x to the third means you have three factors of x. How many factors of x are there now? One, two, three, four, five. Five. So it's x to the fifth. Now, what can you do with two and three to make five? I think you can just add, can't you? Okay. If you have two of the same base, you can just add their exponents so the base combines into one. Okay, now let's look at another one that says x to the seventh power divided by x to the third power. Okay. Now, x to the seventh, well, that means it's seven factors of x. And times together. 
and then I have an x to the third. So I need to underline this and divide by x to the third. Now when you're dividing, that's different, okay? For every common factor I have on top, I cross it out with that same thing on bottom. So I have an x here, x here, so those can be canceled out of the division. That's how division works. I have an x here and x here. Those can be canceled out of the division, okay? x here, x here. Those can be canceled from the division. And then how many x's am I left with? 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's x to the fourth power. Okay, the next thing, x to the second power and the third power. Okay, there's only one base, but then the 2 is an exponent, and so is the 3. Okay, so let's take our 3. That means I'm going to have 3 factors of x to the second power. 3 of them. There's 3 of those, because the exponent's 3, so I write that out 3 times. Okay, so if I have x to the second power, that means two factors of x. So I have two factors of x here, two factors of x here, and two factors of x here. So how many factors of x did I end with? One, two, three, four, five, six. You ended up with six, so it's x to the sixth. Now, it seems to me I could have got this a lot easier. Now, I have what's called a power to a power. What can you do with two and three to get six? not plus them, I know that, 2 plus 3 is 5. Um, I believe you can times them. It's called a power to a power. When you have a power to a power, you can just multiply them. Okay. So those are three basic rules you're going to be practicing when you do this assignment. It's actually pretty easy. Okay, so x to the second power times x to the ninth. So what we want to start with is say, okay, I just want the base x once. And I have a second power. And it's multiplication, so I'm going to want to add okay, 9. It's like I have two factors of x here and nine more factors of x here. So all together, how many is that going to give me? I don't know. What's 2 plus 9? It's 11. So it's x to the 11th power. Okay, now here, x to the third power to the fifth power. So there's a power to a power. So I'm going to connect these kind of when I have a parentheses and then a power outside. And I'm going to put a dot. That means I'm going to multiply. So I write x. I take 3 times 5. It's 15. Remember, if I wrote x to the third five times and then broke all the x to the thirds down into x's, there would be 15 x's. Okay, now, x to the 6th divided by x to the 4th. Well, I want to write the x down just once. And I have a 6th power. But remember on what we did with the division back here, okay? I wrote 6, 7 of these things, and then 3 of them down here, and then I crossed them out one by one when I had some on top, some on bottom. What can you do with 7 and 3 to make 4? Well, I'm pretty sure you can minus them, okay? So if I have the line there, Okay, see here I didn't have the line drawn. They were multiplied together, so I added them. Okay, here I got the line drawn. Okay, so that means I need to subtract. 6 minus 4 is 2, so x to the second power. Okay, x to the ninth power to the second power. Okay, again, that's a power to a power. That's your only x you have, but then you need to multiply the two powers, okay, to find the final power. So 9.2. 9 times 2 is 18. Okay, x to the 4th times x to the 6th. Okay, so you have your x. You have a 4. Now you're multiplying them, so you're going to want to add those powers together. Okay, when it's times, you're going to add. When it's division, you're going to subtract. So 4 plus 6 is 10. So x to the power of 10. Okay, here I just want to write the x down once. I have 15, and it's division, so I want a minus 3, and that's 12, x to the 12. Okay, here I've got x, so I have 12, and then I have another x down here with a 4, at fourth power. I'm going to want to minus the powers because it's division. 12 minus 4 is 8, so x to the 8th. Okay, and then this last one, again, I, this is the only x I have, 
but it has a second power and then there's a fifth power. So that's a power to a power. That means we're going to multiply. So 2 times 5 is 10. Okay, so remember the rule. If you're multiplying two x's, you want to add their powers. If you're dividing two different x's, you want to subtract the powers. But if you only have one x to a power to a power, you're going to times them. Pretty simple.